Hello, my name's Keith Kelly and I'm co-owner of Anglia School and I'd like to welcome you to our wonderful school. We've been open now for seven years and we've grown from a specialised school in young learners English language education to offering much, much more and I'd like to tell you a few words about that. Our youngest groups are uh, two to fours, although we've had uh, a young man who was a year and eight months old uh, come to us uh, and, and learn through English. From the toddlers, two to four year olds, we have uh, preschoolers uh, who are five, four, five and six year olds. And then we have a bridge to grades one up to five, grades five and six. And in the last year, we've started teenagers groups and we've started groups for adults too. So we've grown in many directions, but the philosophy behind the school remains the same. We, we teach and develop English through doing language. And with our youngest kids, you find that our children will spend a lot of time reading books from our wonderful library. Uh, and they'll, they, will, they will learn the language of the stories and they will learn the language of the themes in the stories. So they don't just learn uh, about language, they learn language through doing it, through natural interaction and natural activities. And we take that philosophy throughout the different groups that we have. Uh, for example, uh, in the preschoolers groups, we use um, science to get the, the, the youngsters looking at how to organise things. We, get, we use science to get the youngsters exploring the world around them. Counting, measuring, uh, graphing and reporting back on uh, the things they find. And we also introduce them to sound letter relationships uh, in the preschool groups. And we have some kids who even begin to read and write before they get into grade one in uh, Bulgarian junior school. Uh, I'm happy here at Angus School because I have a lot of friends and um, I play with them a lot. I love them and also like them a lot. They're like my brothers and sisters. With our junior groups, we extend their reading and writing skills and the library work that they do and also through uh, song and dance and storytelling, uh, we take their English much further. I go to my friend's house, we played outside, and then we together go to the swimming pool. We have, she has a swimming pool and we go to swim. And with our slightly older uh, groups now, we're looking at preparing uh, the teenagers groups, for example, for international exams. Um, and what we've done in the last year is offer uh, a B2 Cambridge First Certificate course and a C1 Cambridge Advanced course. Uh, and we offer others, IELTS and Cambridge Proficiency too. We also have adults groups and we've been uh, very privileged to welcome dentists and doctors into Anglia School who are precisely the kind of adults who need English for other purposes. So they need English for uh, professional work, for travel, for conferences, for leisure. And our adults group have the same philosophy as our youngest learners group. Uh, the adults that come to us learn English in order to communicate in their chosen field. Uh, for example, with our doctors, we set up scenarios where our, our, our doctors uh, debate issues that are related to their professional world, such as um, healthy nutrition in young people in Bulgaria, for example. What you'll find also if you come and visit Anglia School is a very rich resource base. We've invested a lot of um, time and energy and money in making the place right for learning, get the atmosphere right for our learners. And I mentioned the library, you can see the resource bank behind me on the wall. Uh, 
You'll have a look around the school as well and you'll see all sorts of uh, corners full of materials for play, for exploration, for art, for music and all of this helps us develop English uh, in our classrooms with our learners. In Anglia School there is something very special and this is our very creative and individual approach to education. So a word about our philosophy, people say, well what, what do you do apart from learn English? The crucial thing is, if you want young people to learn languages well, they have to be doing things in that language, and, and that's at the heart of our learning philosophy at Anglia School. This is a mini sewing machine. I bought four of these, one for each of our premises, and all of our teachers and children have been sewing in order to make cloth bags. These are cloth bags that we made using these sewing machines. And together with our partners, Pierre Shirts, we say a word for them, they gave us free cloth. Um, and with our teachers and the kids' enthusiasm, we create these bags and we gave them uh, away in receipt of donations for our chosen charity, which is Parallel and Sviat. Wonderful charity working with uh, children and young adults with special needs. And what, we, what we've been doing over the last two years is uh, creating um, uh, donations activities for Parallel World such as selling our children's artwork through auctions and we raised over a thousand lever doing that. We made 450 with the cloth bags and we're going to continue. So if your children come to us and you want them to learn English, they will learn English through social activities. They, they'll learn English through doing things, making things and raising money for our chosen charity Parallel World. A little more then about our recycling uh, ideas in Anglia School. We've decided to reduce our waste as much as possible. So we've introduced connections between reducing waste, sustainability and our curriculum. And here are some examples. I bought um, 500 of these uh, metal drinking bottles from a company in Germany because we noticed that our children were bringing plastic bottles every day with water. So what we did was put filters on all our taps and we, we gave these bottles to our children at cost and they designed them and personalised them so that every day then they avoid using plastic bottles. In the same breath we collect bottle caps. This, uh, this rich virgin plastic material is actually valuable and we, we collect these for Parallel World and all the money raised goes to their charity work. Uh, likewise, we introduced a composter for all our organic waste and we have uh, waste separation in different bins in Anglia School. And all of this is incorporated into our learning curriculum. So the children learn English, they learn to be sustainable and value resources uh, and make things through English with waste materials. Здравейте, казвам си Иван Горялов и съм баща на Ева, Адам и Йосиф. Това, което много ми харесва в Anglia School е, че самият ти, той е носител на тази идея. Носител на идеята, че децата могат да учат език че могат да го направят под формата на игри, под формата на занимания. Това е за мен най-добрата инвестиция, която аз и съпругата ми може да направим за нашите деца. Затова водим децата си тук.